Should the use of firearms be restricted? Once again, speaking for our program, Mr. Patrick Paulson, Vice President. Many people today are suggesting that restrictions be placed on the purchase and ownership of firearms. No one questions that these are good, solid citizens, which combines the spirits. They are grossly misguided patrols, or else they can be made for logic or communists. <laughs> but we respect them. <laughs> and we will fight to the death against their right to express their opinions. <laughs> First, let us, <laughs> let us define our terms. We are merely talking about simple firearms, pistols, rifles, bazookas. <laughs> so let us not depart it for all flare off. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> I ask you, what is our most cherished right since pioneer days? The right for every man, woman, and child to carry a gun. <laughs> is not a statement of creation, but has banned the meanings that even a child can understand. If you're old enough to get arrested, you're old enough to carry a gun. <laughs> a gun is a necessity. Who knows, if you're walking down a street, you'll spot a moose. <laughs> I feel these restrictions are plot and sporadic turn for listing. We at the Smothers Brothers program consider this personal attack on our own integrity. Personally, I myself carry a gun. Should I be restricted from carrying a gun? Do I look unstable? Let us not be led mass by those who would less met us. Let no man take away our liberties. up and be common. Let's preserve our freedom to kill. If you wish a copy of the preceding editorial, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Editorial, Box 1763, Beverly Hills. Oh, oh, oh California. Oh.